A warm welcome to You're a Wizard, a magical sleep saga inspired by the world of Harry Potter, where you are the main character. As you take a moment to get comfortable, remind yourself that this is your story, and there are no limits to what you can add to this adventure. Anyone that you meet along the way throughout this saga can be whoever you want them to be. They might be people from your own life, a famous figure that you admire, or a character from the books. So be sure to bring along your own unique imagination. Let your thoughts turn to those of magic, wonder, and adventure as we continue our Harry Potter sleep saga. Classes, for the most part, are done for the day, and in the distance, many students disappear inside, ready for another magical feast. Only this time, you won't be joining, as you have something even more special planned. As you draw nearer to the lake, you see the faint silhouette of the tiny elf, Daphne, who is now carrying a huge wicker basket holding it with both hands, struggling under the weight. Your gentle giant approaches the little elf and with his first finger lifts the basket from her arms and begins to prepare your picnic. He waves a red and white blanket onto the floor and unpacks the basket bit by bit. He greets Daphne as an old friend, and she gives a happy chuckle, telling you they have been companions for many years now. In the next moment, you reveal your best friend, and introduce them to this little elf. Your friend crouches on one knee and holds out a hand, but Daphne skips the handshake and dives straight in for a huge hug, exclaiming that anyone who is a friend of yours is a friend of Daphne's. The little elf has prepared a mini buffet for you, and as the giant unpacks the endless basket of food, you are met with the smell of hot pastry and freshly baked goods, coupled with sandwiches, fresh fruit, and of course, pudding, with ice-cold drinks to wash it all down. Your lovely group gets comfortable on the big red blanket, enjoying the sudden peace that surrounds you, and the gentle lapping of the lake as you bask in the setting sun, glowing in a golden red. You pick and choose little bits of the buffet, and once your plate is full, you begin to enjoy each delicacy prepared by Daphne, and you thank her for this wonderful feast. As you eat, you suddenly get the urge to cool off a little. You remove your shoes and your socks, and dip your tired feet into the cool waters of the lake. All of your friends follow suit, and you sit in a line on the bank of the water. Instantly, you feel a beautiful, cool sensation swirling around your toes and up into your ankles. 
this refreshing feeling trickles up into your legs and begins to cool down your entire body, allowing you to breathe slow and deep, entering a state of pure relaxation. This delicious feast, coupled with the soft heat of the setting sun and the cool waters of the lake, is a perfect combination, finished off by the wonderful company around you, as you all sit in a peaceful silence now, the kind only possible between true friends. The golden red sun is halfway behind the tree line now, and a crimson glow ripples across the lake, creating specks of stardust that flicker on the water. You remember how only yesterday you journeyed across the other side of this lake, approaching the mighty castle underneath a blanket of starlight. You realize how far you have already come since then, and your thoughts turn now to the wonderful day that you have had. You quietly reflect on everything you have been through, thinking of the valuable lessons you have learned, not only for magic, but for life itself. Flying has taught you the value of courage and confidence. It has encouraged you to believe in yourself without hesitation. It has opened your eyes to the wonderful experience of flight and exposed the beauty of magic that surrounds you every day. You reminisce on your adventure with your phoenix guardian, a wonderful new companion, who is now, no doubt, perched on the shoulder of the kind old headmaster, enjoying a magical feast. Transfiguration posed many challenges, but through all this you persevered and triumphed. You vow to yourself to not be afraid of making mistakes, to be more patient with yourself, and to embrace the unexpected as part of this wonderful journey. And, so long as we never give up and listen to our hearts, there will always be doors open to us. Care of magical creatures has given you a chance to reconnect with the beauty and wonder of nature. You were able to give back and to care for a creature that needed your help. You realize that it is a different type of magic to help those in need. And through this lesson, you intend to do that much more. You were also able to meet one of the most beautiful animals you have ever seen, the wonderful unicorn, Olwyn, another guardian of this enchanted world, and another guardian of you. You take a moment to look at your friends enjoying the sunset, and you feel a deep gratitude for each and every one of them. Your best friend gives you a smile, telling you that there is nobody else they would rather share this moment with. Daphne holds your hand now, whispering in your ear, that no matter what, she will always be there for you, cheering you on, and there to lend a helping hand if ever you should need it. 
the gentle giant gives you a mischievous smile, letting you know that you are welcome at his hut any time, and he will make you one of his famous stews. Not quite as good as little Daphne's cooking, he adds, but not too shabby if he does say so himself. And finally, ever present in your thoughts, is the black and white sleepy cat, without whom you may never have found the magical alley in the first place, and who was there to see you off on your adventure. You tell the giant that you wish that naughty cat was here now, and he gives a nod agreeing with you. Then he suggests that maybe one day soon you can go back to the alley together and visit your wonderful friend. You would like that very much, you tell him, very much indeed. And just then, in a crimson flash, the last light of the setting sun disappears beyond the horizon, and the first of the silver stars begin to pepper the rich purple and blue sky. Your best friend quickly reminds you that it is time for your final lesson of the day. Despite feeling completely relaxed and very sleepy already, you cannot deny the lingering excitement still running through you as you anticipate the magic of astronomy. As the little elf casts a spell to dry off your feet and packs away the picnic basket, your gentle giant stands himself up and bids you all a warm good night. He will see you again very soon, he adds, and he strides away back to his warm and cosy hut, ready to turn in for the night. Daphne suddenly asks if she can show you something that she has never shown anyone. As you shuffle on your shoes, you tell her that her secret is safe with you. And then she takes your hand and tells you to trust her. In the next moment, you feel yourself lift ever so slightly above the ground. Daphne begins to climb her feet as if walking up an invisible staircase, and you float up alongside her, higher and higher above the castle grounds. You are becoming completely weightless and free. It's as if you are inside an enchanted bubble, drifting up into the sky, approaching the highest peak of the castle, the Astronomy Tower. There is a special kind of magic at work here, a magic that only these wonderful elves possess. It is a privilege to witness. The view over the twilight castle and the lake reflecting the light of the moon is truly magical. As you float up further into the night, you approach the walled parapet of the astronomy tower. You drift over the wall and land perfectly on your feet. You thank Daphne for all of her help and she gives you both a tight hug at the knees before whispering that she will be back after your lesson, 
and disappearing once again out of sight. Her favorite trick, you think to yourself with a smile. For a brief moment, you are the only two people on the tower. But suddenly, the door swings open, and out comes a tall, dark and slender witch with eagle eyes of brown and braided hair in a soft bun. She glides over the floor and has an unrivaled elegance. Her sapphire robe drapes over her wrists and sweeps across the concrete effortlessly. Behind the professor comes the rest of your class, wide-eyed and eager to begin. Took a shortcut, did we? The professor asks with a knowing smile. With a shuffle of her cloak, a wand appears from her sleeve, and she casts a swirling spell on the tower. In the next moment, a collection of blankets and pillows are spread out evenly on the stone floor, and a blue shimmer covers the night sky. Tonight, she says, will be a nice introduction to the vast subject of astronomy. You are encouraged to find a blanket and lie back, allowing your eyes to adjust. As you find a blanket next to your best friend, the professor explains that tonight you will gaze at the constellations and see where they take you as they guide you on your own unique journey. This is about becoming one with the stars, she says, so that we may study them with a deeper understanding in the weeks to come. Then, almost in an instant, the night sky opens up, revealing itself in all of its wonder and intricate detail. Shooting stars are passing through the blue and silver glitter. Some are brief, but others follow the full curvature of the Earth, passing over this protective sphere at a smooth, steady pace, illuminating a pathway in the sky. Allow your body and your mind to soften, the professor repeats, and for your imagination to come alive. Then you watch in amazement as four constellations begin to reveal themselves, pulsing in colors of red, green, yellow, and blue backed by the infinite black beyond. The first constellation to come into focus is a red lion, peppered with golden starlight. Then appears a blue and bronze eagle, soaring high above the lion. To the left emerges a green serpent shape, encased in a silver stardust. And finally you see a beautiful yellow badger, peppered with black and white. These are the constellations of the four wizarding houses that govern the school. They were made using powerful magic, where the four founders combined their talents to leave a permanent reminder for generations to come.
you can almost see where the spell hit the sky all those years ago and branched out to create these four huge crests now pulsing bright above you. And now, the professor adds, it is time for you to go on your own unique journey through the stars. Allow them to take you wherever they want to and trust in this enchanted universe. Then, as if in your own private theater of starlight, the colorful constellations begin to fade and a very personal display begins just for you. Through the crystal zigzags and the looping patterns of the silver stars, you begin to follow your own life's journey in a vast web across the sky. As the patterns become more rich and embedded, there are snapshot images and pictures in the stars, showing your deep history as you relive all the wonderful memories in your life. Everything that has happened has brought you here and has shaped the kind, generous and brilliant person that you are today. Many of the silver lines cross over each other, symbolizing a new friendship or a special bond. And where the lines meet, you see flashes of those that are most dear to you, smiling down at you from the enchanted twilight sky. No matter where life takes you, all of these people will be watching over you, and all of your happiest memories will stay with you forever. Then, you suddenly see all of your hopes and dreams spread out in front of you, and you feel grateful for all the wonderful opportunities that still lie ahead of you. You know it is never too late, and you feel a powerful resolution to make the most of everything that life has to offer, and to go forward with an open heart, full of love, and guided by the desire to simply be good. You feel so thankful for all the beautiful things that you do have, and for all the people that you have been so lucky to meet and to share life with. This enormous collection of beautiful memories, important people and inspiration surrounds you now in a protective twilight dome of shimmering blue. You realize that there is no time for worry or negativity in your life. There is no utility or comfort to be found in this. And as you take in this unforgettable display, you allow all the colors of the night to swirl around you 
and cleanse your mind of any remaining thoughts. This angelic starlight will heal your heart, rejuvenate your body and clear your mind, allowing you to let go of all those things that no longer serve you and to go forward now with positivity and hope. These wonderful feelings wash over you as you give yourself over completely to the beautiful night sky. As this starlight display comes to an end, you are left with the soft glitter of the night, guarded by the pearl moon that beams down in a spotlight, perfectly covering the tower. As your sleepy eyes look around, you realize that your lesson has finished. Only you and your best friend remain, and the professor watching over you with care. As you come back into a lucid state, the professor whispers that you have a visitor, and she bids you a wonderful good night before sweeping through the door and out of sight. And then you hear the soothing voice of Daphne, asking you to be still now and trust her once again. In the next moment, Daphne clicks her fingers and you feel yourself floating, as if being carried on a soft, comfortable bed. The little elf guides you now down the long spiral steps of the tower, keeping you perfectly afloat and relaxed. Daphne explains that a powerful elven enchantment lies upon you, and for the time being you are invisible, as if under a magical cloak. This way, she can sneak you back into your room without any distraction and let you drift off in peace. As you float through a stone archway, you are greeted by the sound of a low crackling fire, a familiar ticking clock and the scribbling of students finishing assignments for the morning. Daphne gently guides you through the muffled hubbub of the common room as you float effortlessly on your back. You cannot help but smile ear to ear as this wonderful magic unfolds. You slowly drift over to the next corridor and she guides you down towards your bedroom at last. Before you know it, you are being gently lowered onto your bed. Outside the window, you can hear the soothing sound of falling rain that has bubbled up from the clouds all of a sudden. Daphne places a warm hand on your forehead and murmurs a low spell. This will allow you to completely let go 
and enter a deep sleep, dreaming of the most beautiful things. In that moment, you feel yourself sink deeper and deeper into the mattress as you become heavier and heavier. A beautiful vibration begins to ripple through your body. You feel your forehead letting go of all tension as each muscle relaxes now. Your brow becomes soft and free. Your cheeks let go and your lips soften. Your jaw relaxes and the muscles in your face become warm and soft. You feel your shoulders and your neck releasing all tension as each muscle relaxes completely like a soft butter melting. This wonderful sensation runs down your arms, relaxing your upper arm, releasing your elbows, softening your forearms and allowing your hands to be heavy. This new warmth trickles up and down your back, softening your spine, and all the muscles in your back are letting go now. Your buttocks muscles become heavy and free from all tension. The muscles in your thighs are warm and soft. Your knees are loose and the tension in your calves is melting away. The tops of your feet tingle with delight. The soles of your feet and your toes become soft now and filled with warmth. You lie here now in a state of total tranquility, blanketed with peace. Daphne bids you a gentle good night, reassuring you that she is not far away. You are filled with a deep relaxation. The gentle sound of the rain only adds to your comfort. And now, with nothing left to think at all, you allow yourself to completely let go and give yourself over to the wonderful night as you dream of beautiful things. <laughs>